Assalamu alaikum and good evening all of you. Before starting anything, I would like to share a famous spiritual quote which I always use to amplify my abilities. It goes like Imam Ali Raza quote from his father Imam Musa Qasim. He quote from his father Imam Jafar Sadiq. He quote from his father Imam Muhammad Bakir. He quote from his father Imam Zainal Abidin. He quote from his father Imam Hussain. He quote from his father Mawla Ali. He quote from the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. And he said, what faith is? Faith is knowing from your heart, expressing it through your tongue and performing it with your organs. So whatever you do in life, faith is the basic necessity for everything. So starting with the glucocorticoid synthesis, the first step is the conversion of the free cholesterol into pregnenolone which is exactly similar with that of glucocorticoid. The free cholesterol will be converted into pregnenolone by the action of three factors which are adrenocorticotropic hormone, cytochrome P450 side chain cleavage enzyme and finally the steroidal acute regulatory protein. And from these three factors, free cholesterol will be converted into pregnenolone. Now from pregnenolone we will start our study. So the enzyme used is 17 alpha hydroxylase. So the 17th position is involved. Now look at the 17th position. This carbon is connected from this carbon with a single bond, this carbon with a single bond and this carbon with a single bond. So the fourth valency of this carbon must be Satis must have been satisfied with uh, that of hydrogen which is not shown in the structure according to the rules because uh, that uh, hydrogens are not shown in the hydrocarbons. So, but there is a hydrogen which uh, has occupied the fourth valency. So again addition of oxygen will be performed at its 17th hydroxylase means hydroxylation will be performed at 17th position which means that an oxygen will add it as a result of oxidation. So simply an oxygen will attack the 17th position and along with the hydrogen it will be observed as hydroxyl group. So on pregnant alone on the 17th position a hydroxyl group is substituted producing 17 hydroxy pregnant alone. So the second step is very similar to that of uh, mineralocorticoid. In mineralocorticoid the pregnant alone was converted into progesterone by the help of two enzymes that were 3 beta hydroxy steroidal dehydrogenase and delta 54 isomerase. In the glucocorticoid, instead of pregnenolone, 17 hydroxy pregnenolone will be converted into 17 hydroxy progesterone. So, the only difference is the presence of hydroxyl group on the 17th position. So, two reactions will be involved in the 17 hydroxy pregnenolone that is the third oxygen of the hydroxyl group will be dehydrogenased that is its hydrogen will be removed so it will make a double bond with the carbon so this is the first change second the double bond between the fifth and sixth position will be rotated or shifted towards fourth and fifth position which is observed so exactly similar changes which were performed in the mineralocorticoid in which pregnenolone was converted into progesterone. Exactly similar reaction as took place but only the difference is that it was performed on pregnenolone in the mineralocorticoid and it is performed on 17 hydroxy pregnenolone in the glucocorticoid and after this reaction 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is converted into 17 hydroxy progesterone. The next step is again similar with that of mineralocorticoid. In the mineralocorticoid, the progesterone was converted into 11 deoxycorticosterone. Here, 17 hydroxy progesterone will be converted into 11 deoxycortisone. The presence of 17 hydroxy in the structure converts the compound corticosterone into cortisone. What I am trying to say is that in the mineralocorticoid, 
the progesterone was converted into 11 deoxycortico-sterone with the help of 21 hydroxylase consider the 21 hydroxylase which means that at 21st position a hydroxyl group will be substituted so at the 21st position hydroxylation will be performed now here the starting material of reaction is 17 hydroxy progesterone so when at the 21st position oxidation will be performed on this carbon it will appear finally in the form of ch2oh and the product will be converted into 11 deoxycortisone now the name 11 deoxycortisone refers that this structure is exactly similar to cortisone but however on the 11th position and oxygen is not present so the absence of oxygen at the 11th position relates the compound as 11 deoxycortisone that is it is such a cortisone in which on the 11th position an oxygen is absent so in the next step oxidation or you can say hydroxylation will be performed on this 11th position and it will be converted into cortisone so in glucocorticoids the mineralocorticoid reactions are being performed exactly with the slight difference so this is the last section of the glucocorticoid in which the finally cortisol which is a glucocorticoid will be produced so the starting material is 11 deoxycortisol that it is such a cortisol in which on the 11th position an oxygen is not present so oxidation will be performed on the 11th position by the uh, enzymatic action of 11 beta hydroxylase that it will produce hydroxylation at the 11th position so simply oxidation will be performed and after the oxidation along with the hydrogen it will appear as hydroxyl group so the deficiency of oxygen at in the cortisol will be fulfilled or compensated by the oxidation and finally the whole reaction will be termed as hydroxylation because of the uh, presence of oxygen with the hydrogen so hydroxylation is performed in the deoxy 11 deoxycortisol and finally after the hydroxylation or the addition of oxygen it is converted into cortisol so this was all about the glucocorticoid synthesis from steroids